as an older player when it comes to Siege, then you know Twitch was one of the best operators back in the day. But as a newer player, you'll notice that she's incredibly easy to get whether you do it through the challenge or you get her by using a thousand renown. Either way, she is probably an operator you're going to be playing. Not to mention she comes with a very straightforward gadget and a very simple loadout to understand. Twitch is a 2 speed 2 armor that comes with a supporting gadget known as the Shock Shroud. Twitch can hold up two of these at a time and they have the ability to shoot three lasers at a time. And I specifically say laser because it basically is a hit scan weapon when you shoot a gadget. And you can quite literally snipe default cameras. However, because it is a laser, there are certain gadgets that Twitch cannot destroy. For example, if a Maestro's Evil Eye is not open, then Twitch cannot harm it at all. But the second it is open, then Twitch can shoot the middle of it and then destroy the gadget. However, where the Shock Drone excels at is destroying gadgets like Jaeger ADSs and Goyo's canisters. And this is what I would say you should try to do with your Shock Drones, is to destroy gadgets like this. Another good gadget to try to destroy is the regular default cameras that you can find around the map. And this is by far Twitch's strongest aspect. The fact that she can basically be outside but be on her cameras and still helping her team and having a massive impact is strong. However, there is a few simple counters to the Shock Drone. Number one, you can shoot it as a defender because it is a drone after all. And number two, she is completely countered by Mozzie and Butte. You can just straight up disable the Shock Drones and Mozzie can hack the Shock Drones and use them for himself. However, if you pay attention to where they are placed by the indicators that the gadget gives off, then you could technically just get close to it without being fully into the radius and then sniping. And for those who don't know, depending on where the mutant jammer is, Twitch can just technically jump over the radius and be completely fine. However, this is so inconsistent, I wouldn't rely on this. And one thing to know about Twitch is on top of the fact that she already has two shock drones, she has two normal drones. So if you can't get any utility out of her shock drones, at worst, you have four drones. Which the intel could be more powerful than what your Twitch drones could even do. Here's a few more things that you kind of have to know about the shock drones. One is that technically you have an infinite amount of shots. However, you only have three in the mag, I guess you could say, in the beginning. And after all three are gone, then you need to wait for it to recharge. As you can see at the bottom right of your screen, it does have a very long recharge time. Another thing to know about the Twitch drones is, yes, it can hurt people, but it can only do five damage at a time. So in total, 15 damage if you hit them with all three. Now, this part is not really going to come to effect a whole lot because you should prioritize the gadgets over anything. But this is a funny way to kill some people. Also, what a lot of people don't really remember about Twitch drones is that they make a lot of noise compared to regular drones. You can even hear it when you're on the actual drone itself. It's pretty loud. What you're hearing right now is what the defenders could be hearing as well. Also, as a little side note about the Twitch drones is that they're a great way to pop mirror windows. As for Twitch's secondary gadgets, she comes with smoke grenades, which are really good for blocking line of sight for the defenders. And for her other gadgets, she comes with the claymores, and I am personally not a fan of them, but again, that's personal preference. The primary option that people like to run on Twitch nowadays is her 417 DMR, which is the most consistent DMR in the entire game, while being considered to be the best as well. The only issue with it is that it's obviously not full auto, and in a game with one-shot headshots, it can be a bit annoying sometimes. However, it does have a really good damage profile with a really good fire rate while having a 2x sight and a 1.5. And you can run the 3x scope if you plan on holding a lot of angles. Now, if you're an older Siege player, then you know the F2 assault rifle was one of the best assault rifles in the entire game. But now that it lost its vertical grip, it's kind of meh. The only reason why I got so many headshots right there is because the recoil was kicking into it. I still haven't gotten used to it ever since I lost it, but the recoil is just not that good anymore. And for her final primary option, she comes with the CQB shotgun, which is probably my favorite shotgun in the entire game because... I mean, it could basically one shot from 10 meters. Now, the second it gets to 20 meters, yeah, it's not good. But it is a shotgun after all, so the closer you can get to your enemy, the likely it is the one shot. Here's a good example. I mean, that's 200 damage right there. I mean, what, what else can I say? Other than the fact that it's a shotgun on attack and it's not really that good. So unless you want to meme, I wouldn't recommend running this in a competitive sense. Going over to her secondary weapon, she comes with the P9 handgun, which is basically like Jaeger's handgun, but it's slightly better when it comes to damage. 
It does have a lower magazine size. I hate that so much. And she does come with the revolver, which is pretty good for damage, but it does have somewhat of bouncy recoil, and it only has six rounds of mag, so I personally don't run it. However, if you don't mind the recoil, and you can hit your shots, then it's a pretty good option. So that's pretty much everything that you have to know about Twitch, and now if you want to know my personal opinion on her, is that she is an operator in Rainbow Six Siege. I mean, if you really want me to be god honest, then I do think Brava and Flores are better options than her, because one, they also come with really good guns that are full auto guns, by the way. And Brava's para still does over 50 damage, and she's a 3-speed, and Flores is a 2-speed 2 armor with flashbangs, and he can destroy pretty much every gadget in the entire game. And so I feel like they're more consistent than Twitch, but again, if you want to play Twitch, then who's going to stop you? But again, that's my personal opinion, and you should always take my opinions with a grain of salt. But with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and save this in the video. If you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you're interested in any other operators, I have likely covered them in my playlist. So go check it out because you may find your new favorite operator. And with that said, I am Carter Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night. And goodbye.